Hey there. Welcome to the course Introduction to Node-RED. I'm Lakshana and I'm part of the instructor team at Makeademy and I will be your instructor for this course. Being a qualified electronics and communication engineer, I'm passionate about working at the intersection of electronic hardware and software. I also have experience in teaching students in a classroom setting. Section 1 Introduction to the Node Red. In this section, we'll cover the following Introduction to the course, Why you should even bother with Node Red, What is Node Red and why was it created, How does Node Red work? Video 1.1 Introduction to the course. In this video, We'll discuss the following The target audience The course prerequisites The learning outcomes The course roadmap Steps to be followed for a better learning experience Resources for this course So who is the target audience? Any developer or engineer who wants to build applications on the go An IoT enthusiast who wants to build an IoT application? Anyone who is interested in exploring Node-RED? Well, if you belong to any one of the above categories, then this course is most certainly for you. Now let's look at the course prerequisites. To get maximum value out of this course, you should have at least a basic knowledge of programming principles. If you're familiar with JavaScript, it will be a lot easier for you to follow the course. You would also need to have a basic understanding of electronic concepts. You should also have familiarity in working with Raspberry Pi. Now you might be asking, what will I learn by the end of this course? This course will teach you a programming tool called Node-RED, which is used for rapid application development. If you complete all the sections in the course and the course assignments, you will be on your way to building non-trivial projects using Node-RED. You would have developed the confidence to build applications using Node-RED. Unlike other courses, this course will take you to a level beyond the hobbyist. As an instructor, my objective is not just to have you replicate the projects in this course, but to encourage you to build interesting projects on your own. At Makeademy, we want to teach you to fish rather than give you a fish. Let's now have a look at the course roadmap. First, we'll get ourselves introduced to Node-RED. Then, we learn how to deploy Node-RED on different platforms and get familiarized using the Node-RED editor. After that, we learn about the important Node-RED nodes in the palette. After which, we will be building a weather station on Node-RED in different ways possible. Please note that the versions of the Node-RED, Node.js and the IBM Cloud Platform used in this course are subject to change. If there are major changes, I will update the course accordingly. During the course, if you need any help in understanding or implementing concepts, please follow these best practices provided for a better learning experience. If you have a doubt or get an error in any part of the course, please do a quick Google search or a Node-RED forum search so that you can get your problem solved immediately. If it still doesn't help, then you can do a quick search in the question and answer forum of this course. It is likely that your question was asked by someone else and answered by our instructor team already. If you don't find any similar questions in the question and answer forum, then submit a new question which includes the description and the screenshot of the error you are getting. Your questions are my top priority and I will do my best to get back to you at the earliest. By trying these methods, I hope you can solve your query at the earliest and move on with the rest of the course. 
Throughout the course, I have provided a curated collection of resources. These resources include links to complete flows, documents for in-depth learning, blog links, videos and more. I would suggest you go through the resources in every section. All the codes and libraries are saved in the GitHub repository. They are organized section-wise for ease of access. I will now show you how to collect all the codes onto your computer. First, click the repository link given in the resources. Now click on the clone or download button. Select download zip. After downloading, extract the file to get access to all the codes and libraries. So what components should you buy to finish this course? I've attached the list of components required for the whole course along with the links to buy those components in the resources section of this video. So what are you waiting for? Come, join me in this course. I am looking forward to being your instructor and guide you in tinkering with Node-RED to build problem-solving applications. And one more thing. We've put in a lot of effort to make this course useful to you. So may I suggest that you go through the course fully before reviewing it. In this video, we discuss the following. The target audience, the course prerequisites, the learning outcomes, the course roadmap, steps to be followed for a better learning experience, resources for this course. In the next video, I will convince you why you should learn Node-RED.